someone that's like that's me that's about to have probably like maybe 12 years i question whether or not if if other people in an insular community are going to see the or realize the validity of my of my genuine embracing to torah whereas someone else that it's more i think i'm wondering more or less if I'm still going to be able to maintain my authentic self while not being socially divided, if that makes sense. I've disconnected with most of my friends that I didn't think were productive in my life. And most of my, the only real secular life that I currently have is my, my job. And I think that's really it. Everything else is completely in socially, um, in secular recovery. So the only thing now is my place of, I reside, my, the place where I live, I'm in Austin, Texas. It's, it's, it's very diverse or actually divided in, in Yiddishkeit. And so I'm thinking of moving to a, a more of a community. However, I don't want to be seen as a potential threat. I just want to be able to know that I'm going to be accepted without um, being socially distanced. I don't think you have to worry about uh, that happening. Uh, if you want to maybe a very uh, a Hasidic uh, concentrated place that uh, you have to... Uh, make a lot of changes, but if you go to a regular uh, city like Passaic or or even Lakewood or uh, even Brooklyn, or uh, you made uh, connections with a, uh, a a circle of Orthodox Jews, you'd be accepted with open arms. They'd be loved to uh, have you part of them. You seem to be a very fine person and very uh, uh, about us. You have a good, very good character traits. And you don't have to worry about that at all. You'll be accepted wherever you would go. You'll be sincere. And Bali uh, Tshuva, we have to uh, take accept, accept an, an, an Judaism like anybody else. So I don't think you have to be afraid of that at all. I think you'll be very happy and people will be happy with you. <laughs> Who can I call? 